the pre cafo handicap chase is next in. Well, this is a 0 to 120 against two more five furlongs, whatever the big obstacles this time. And the top one is shining bright for Craig Beck with Romana for Marty Leon, fallen three, three, uh, last three times out. Rabalma for Graham Clutterbuck, LJ's rolling, Thomas Rogers, Trojan Hysteria, Alex Cherry, Jardine's lookout, Graham Clutterbuck, close up, Alex Cherry, financial wizard for B. Fotheringham, who's also got strategic goodbye. So, some iffy jumpers in this, they're away and racing then. And I don't know what's going on here, the colours are all totally out, so as we get over the first, this is going to be quite interesting because Shining Bright appears to be in the lead, and there are two horses running in my colours, and I've only got one horse in the race. <laughs> um, let's have a look and see if we can figure this out. So Romana is in the lead, now that Romana should be in the red rum colours, that one belongs to me and is in the lead, it'll probably fall over. Shining Bright is in second, running those red rum colours, I think that's probably Craig Beck with the grey on the inside of that one is Financial Wizard, that's I think B Fotheringham's, the inside of that one, oh, you know, all confused again now as we get over the third, uh, this is all sent to test me, final weekend, so there's the football pitch, I spotted that football pitch yesterday, and now they're jumping over a gate, so goodness knows what's going on here, uh, we've started off with a complete mishmash of horse colours, and now we're jumping over a gate, so, oh, there's a fall there, Rabalma's, Romana's gone, so that was probably about the only thing we could predict would happen at Romana got rid of a jockey for the fourth race on the trot despite winning twice already this season so now they're over another gate thing and this is a uh, real end of end of season stuff isn't it but financial wizards in the lead that's a grey and i'm pretty sure it belongs to b fotheringham lj's rolling in second i've got a feeling that belongs to thomas rogers it's running in ground clutterbox colors as they get to the seventh and the horse has now moved into second. The second horse in Alex Cherry's colours is Jardine's Lookout. I think that's Graham Clutterbuck's. So I hope you're following this. This is like that uh, that old comedy called Soap. Do you remember when I used to tell you all the stuff that happened the week before and none of it ever made any sense at all? But Financial Wizard is in the lead. Pretty certain it's B following him. LJ's rolling in second. Yeah, I didn't know who that was a minute ago. I've forgotten there. I think it's did I say Thomas Rogers. I can't remember. I think so. Um, strategic goodbyes in third. I think that's B Fotheringham's as well. Then Shining Bright, which I think is Craig Beckwith. He's running in the red rum colours. And then the Alex Cherry colours are there as well. That's Jardine's lookout. That's pretty sure that's Graham Clutterbuck's Rebalma. The one closest to us in the red rum colours. That is definitely Graham Clutterbuck's. And then the grey in Graham Clutterbuck's colours is Trojan Hysteria. And I think I think that might be Ryan Costello's. They all, no, that's a, that's a green one. Oh dear, oh, that's what's that one? Another one in Graham Clutterbuck's with his close up. I'm sorry, I can't remember who's that is at all. Anyway, they're all over that one, and it's Jardine's lookout that's gone on into the lead. Shining bright is second. Let's just give everybody that entered this race a win. Make it a nine way dead heat as they take the 11th. I'm going to need a rest after this. It's Shining bright in front from Jardine's lookout second. And then LJ's rolling his third and Rabalm is fourth. I'm going to use the uh, text box at the corner because I can't work it out from the colours who they are. So, um, anyway, I'm going to count this as a win for me if this one in front wins, even though it's not mine. So, Shining Bright's in front with the Jardines look out in second. LJ's rolling his third. Then Strategic Goodbye, which I think is the only horse in the race that's actually running in its proper colours as they get over the next. So that one is the one we ought to be cheering on to win. And it's jumping nicely there and going into second. And it's Jardine's Lookout in front. And they're going to jump the gates again this time. By the looks of it, they've gone past the gates this time. I don't know why they jump those. They don't jump them in any other races this week. Uh, all a little bit odd, but anyway. They come down to this ditch and over that one they go. And it's LJ's rolling, shining bright, strategic goodbye. Uh, Jardine's lookout still there, so is Financial Wizard. Rebalma has now dropped to the back as they take this 16th. They've got three more to take. Um, presumably no more gates. Gates all appear to be on the inside. I don't know why we use that track there anyway. Jardine's lookout, shining bright. LJ's rolling, strategic goodbye. This is the third last. And over it they go. And LJ's rolling, shining bright. Well, they're going to have a 
bit of a ding dong battle that somebody ringing me up for that while their horses were in the wrong colours, but it shot him right in the lead from LJ's rolling in second. It's not me, I don't do have anything to do with that bit. It's LJ's rolling on the inside of Shining Bright, then comes Jardine's lookout, then close up, then strategic goodbye, and then Trojan Hysteria, Financial Wizard and Rebalmer as they get over their second last. And it's LJ's rolling and Shining Bright, and we're having a bit of a ding dong now coming up towards the final fence. And it's LJ's rolling who looks to be going the better of the two at the moment over the final fence they go but a better jump by shining bright lj's running out looks stronger on the flat and they're racing into the final third line now lj's rolling is beginning to pull away and we'll find out who it does belong to but it's lj's rolling that is the winner and really comfortable winner that's going to be close for second in the end but shining bright's just going to hang on from trojan hysteria close up a strategic goodbye and it might be a strategic goodbye for me after that and there we go, thinking about it, it might actually be my fault because I didn't get my horses in time because I was too busy and I got the transfer, the, not the transfer, the entry thing extended for me so maybe it was my fault putting a horse in at 7 o'clock at night anyway, LJ's Rollins won it for Thomas Rogers Shining Bright for Craig Beck with his second Trojan Hysteria for Alex Cherry is third Close Up for Alex Cherry is fourth and Strategic Goodbye for B Fotheringham was fifth